And what up, Herx? A lot of people would think a small space and think, ah, what can I do with it? But like, how do I make the most of a very, very tiny space and turn it into a dope ass studio? What is up, guys? Welcome to the brand new tiny Harry Potter studio. This girl is literally the staircase closet in my and i love it i so let me start from the outside and all right practical advice on turning your staircase closet into a dope ass studio uh one prioritize what you do with filmmaking or whatever it is like obviously you're gonna need a desk four foot desk uh, i got the computer on the zoom p4 right while like doing photo shoots for new human i realized like i really want to have my own little product shot like you know what i mean where i could like get like a like say like this side or this side or what i love like this little kind of reading nook that I've made for the kids and myself, like with this tiny space. This is technically the only real space in here pointed this way. And I wanted a way to use the, use the levels of this space. I feel like my imagination just goes crazy with how to fill the space in an intelligent, useful way. Try to make like your four foot table into two different sections, whether that's, you know, you paint and stuff like that and then like the laptop editing station. Try to do that so that you have, like you're literally utilizing every bit of Pretty much what is lighting this entire setup. A combination of three. We have our Godox SL660W using this like little, it's just bouncing very hard light all the way at the ceiling and then the ceiling is acting as a diffuser. That light was like, that light setup was super paramount because in such a tiny space, I can't use a big old dome um, like attachment, like a, um, but if you look over at this pole, uh, is the only, it's putting it up, pointing up. But. And I'm still here with who I started with. Not your average artist, I am not the one to bargain with. Competition, target practice, I don't see no targets here. I fear God and that's all I fear. This is not a starter kit. This is not gas, this is Gucci to the cardigan. Down to the moccasins. This is not a brag, I can hardly care. Lately I've been bugging, buying clothes that I'm hardly wear. And what is it that you can do standing that this space would be ideal for? And obviously for filmmaking, like recording good voiceover, stuff like that, like just a simple boom pole. Now there is a hidden space underneath here. Actually that's for four people to just kind of chill out. And then there is a space where I can just get my work. What do you want your like your bottom sit down section? That's what I really want to call it. That's like the sit down. As you can see, I have like a ring light here and I can use that to do another like a spot. Some sort of like, you know, just really quick fitties. Three nails. I have my magic set over here. I am super proud of the decks i've been building and yo isaac if you ever see this brah and then lastly this light over here which is doing the same effect hard light being bounced at the wall and then it's like a gvm we also have like a little book this is a great book i have the tripod just set to like smallest it can be just angled so this way. like you get more background more space if it was angled this way that's not bad either ideally i also put the like i put the ring light here but if there was no background, it would just feel very flat. Adding this blanket, this hanging up this blanket in here really just made it come together. One of my favorite parts about is this wall. I've kind of kept this consistent throughout the studios that I've built. When you can put small things in a small space, it makes the space feel better. Like this wall is literally not even a foot. Look for the future, I can't live in the past. And I, I seen the picture, the dot in that crash button. Thank God I ain't too cool for the safe belt. That is pretty much it. <laughs> please remember to um, subscribe below. Please, please, please just hit click the button, click like, and turn on the notification bell if you are interested in anything related to daily vlogging. Uh, I'd love to be of help and support and service to you. If you're curious about editing, stuff like that, I am gonna start sharing a bit of that within this vlog. Haven't figured out the exact format yet, because I want it to be, all right, until next time, I hope you have the best day. I hope it is the most wonderful, just dopest as I will see you tomorrow.
Peace. You know, we always got the custom stove yard. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Make sure you decorate your every inch with smaller things. Like these are four by six photos, but small things on the wall is gonna make it look much bigger versus something huge like this painting here. So just think of that. See how close my hand is, how small this looks right here? But as my hand's right here, this looks so much bigger.